Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. And I'm IT Explosive One. And we are 10 Minutes or Less. Let's start the timer. <laughs> Ding. I better start the timer this time, huh? So TNT, I, uh, <clears throat> I saw a story. Mm. And this is from Indiana. It, it shows Indiana, that Florida. how kind of... Yeah, definitely in this situation. How kind of messed up our whole political voting type system is oh we get into gerrymandering <laughs> no, here no, on no, no 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 this is just that it just it's just kind of related but okay so there was this guy There's and guys. he and he is uh he was running for uh it was the republican primary right okay. so they they do votes and the top three people who are vote have the vote getters are then put on the ballot to be voted on during the actual election. That okay. process I get, whatever. You know, okay. weed out so there's not a million contenders to get the seat later. Fair. So in this particular situation, the guy who came in uh third only got 60 votes total. And okay. that was 20% of the vote. So if you do that do the math, five times that there was only 300 votes not lot, total yeah. in yeah. this in this election, in this primary, right? Okay. Only three people ran, so all three people made it into the primary, into the into the thing. Oh, yeah. The, ma- the third place person who is winning is in prison waiting to stand trial for murdering his wife. Oh, so this is in Boston, too. <laughs> This is, this is a, that's a throwback to a couple of days ago, but this is Boston. Yeah, no, this is Indiana. Okay. So, yeah, so the guy, they said the man is, is literally awaiting trial, and the reason he can... It, now, if he gets convicted, he won't be able to be... Cause he, <laughs> if he gets convicted! But since he's, he's innocent until proven guilty, Wait. he's sitting... He's, they said he's sitting in jail with no trial date set. What, what are the charges? He... He got into a fight with his wife, and he hit her in the head with a flower pot, and she died. Oh. So. Oh. So based on, like, this is how, like, messed up the the political voting system is. Oh. Like, it's like he made it because there was only three candidates. He's allowed to run while he's pending federal murder charges. Oh. And he only got 60 votes total, and he's going to be able to potentially be voted into. I don't know what it's for. Like, I don't know if it's state senate or whatever. But. How the hell did he get 60 votes? People liked him. People did, hated his wife. I don't know, yo. Like, how, how do you? People hated his wife. I don't know. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> dude. That's funny, dude. She, hey, baby. Never mind. I'm not going to say it. not going to say anything. That's terrible. But right, um, like, how is that? How? Like, how? I don't know, man. I, I assume that Indiana's not like, I don't know. Indiana has like some cities. Like yeah, Gary, and, Indiana's big. Uh, Gary and Indianapolis. Indianapolis. Is, is a real city. I think that's really it. Oh, uh, uh, man, I can't think of the name of it. But yeah. they're South Bend. Let's see, South Bend, Indiana. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess I've heard of that. Yeah, the, yeah uh, Indiana's still like, it's a flyover state, though. Oh, yeah. The only 100%. time I've ever been to it is driving from Ohio Towards like Minnesota or whatever, you yeah. go like you go on Route ninety through it for like an hour. It yeah. takes to drive through the whole state because yeah. it's longer than yeah. skinnier than it is uh, tall. And yeah, dude, it's it's there's nothing. That, and so I, it's probably my guess is it's one of those super small House of Representatives sort of districts where it's like it's a super small podunk little town. There's only maybe a thousand people in the whole mm. town. If only three hundred people showed up, right? But still, there still should be something in there. That like if you even you have pending federal charges, you can't run for office, man. There was the I other mean, guy. Have you seen him? There's a guy. He's he's a young. He's like a young bro, very handsome type dude. Yeah. Um, running for some sort. I think for actual senate, maybe. Yeah. He's got he's got busted twice trying to take a loaded gun into an airport. And a video has surfaced of him basically naked in bed with another man and him trying to, like, essentially face F him against his consent with another guy being like, do it, put it in his mouth, ha <laughs> do whatever. And he's just like, videos are going to come out about me, you know, it's all whatever, this is harassment. And I'm like, these are the people that are running I mean, for, like, 
political office in our country. I, I feel like it speaks volumes on you to even bring that video up. It sounds like two cons- it sounds like a consensual event. It was not consensual. I mean, it, the whole point is that was it wasn't it? consensual. He, was goes, it? he goes, yeah, we had some inappropriate whatever. And like, But he just blew it off. Like, yeah, things are going to come out about me. Like, So basically, he was a giant bro douche in college. And he has like stuff on video of him like sexually assaulting him other people. You, you know what, Jones? Look, I'm going to keep it a buck with okay. you, man. It comes right, out. It comes out every. Ben Franklin coming out. It comes out every year. Every year, um, we get a ton of these politicians that have done like just some crazy acts yeah. where they get caught with drugs, where they get caught with uh, underage girls, where they get caught doing some sort of inappropriate behavior of that nature. Right, right. It, it, it is really enlightening the fact that I could run for office and have a cleaner record than most of these yeah. people. Yeah. Like, and I don't know what it takes to be a, a politician necessarily. Like, I don't know if I need to, like, what do I got to take, like, a personality test or something? I, do I, I have literally to? Literally, you just got to say, you got to, it's a popularity just, contest. All you got to do is to say, I want to be a politician, run, maybe get a commercial or a billboard. Well, right. Because if people vote for you, they vote for you. So, like, it's, so if really I can it. spend, so if I spend like $1,500 on a billboard for a month, then right. I can be a vote politician. Vote for TNT. I like put some thing. Babies. I like dogs and babies. Yeah. Dogs and babies. Yeah, exactly. And they're like, oh, for, hey, well, for, a better, is, for a better Texas. A lot of people don't vote. And two, uh, when you go in, if it's like a small city thing, you don't know who the hell any of those people are. You're just like, yeah, yeah, that guy, TNT, that sounds great. You, know, you don't, the guy could be a pocket Nazi and you don't know yeah, and you're yeah. voting for him just because it has a D or an R there and that's what you, and that, and that's what you do. <laughs> and you're like, wow, maybe I should look up who I'm voting for because they make all the difference in the world. <laughs> Shouldn't have voted for Dr. Pocket Nazi. Yeah, right. <laughs> Exactly. No. Um. And I. And I, I, I mean, it seems that way because it seems like anybody can get into this business because, like, if you have a record that where something like this were to come out and it could ruin you, well, I don't understand why you'd even try. I mean, I guess I know why you would try because you want the money. Apparently, politicians get paid very well, but it's a very dirty business. Like, it's a you dirty know job. It's, it's a hard out. job. You, you pay people off to not put it out. Like, I feel like if I ever went for office, I would think about like what could anybody say about me? What could people find? And then I would just like throw it all out there first. Be like, yeah, I I inhaled marijuana in college, and I you know I got in a fight one time and I whatever dumb stuff you know you like might come out with people like oh my god he actually got into a fight one time yeah. like you gonna tell him about that orphanage that you right. burned down yeah right you know put yeah, that up there that wasn't cool Be like dude. it wasn't because I don't like kids no, that wasn't cool though no it wasn't you shouldn't have done that you're right um and I feel like that's probably the best way to get ahead of everything you know if you if you give all of the uh if you give all the ammunition to them, then they can't use it against you. Right, exactly. And that's why, and that's how people who get blackmailed a lot of time are like, you know what? I don't want this coming out, but I'd rather just tell my yeah. family the truth and you blackmail me and it come out anyway. I, I guess, like, I wonder what degree of politicianism is, uh, is like, actually creating events to have blackmail. Like, oh, look, we ended up at this party. Everybody's a little drunk. Oh, you got a little handsy with her. I had to stop you. <laughs> right. I don't know why I gave him that accent, but, you know. I mean, yeah, I mean, I feel you, though. It, what do politicians it, do? What do they do? Yeah, what they're do they supposed do? to help people and make laws. No, like, no, no. Don't give me that bull That's crap, what they're man. supposed to like, do. Like, I'm a politician. I wake up in the morning. I get into my car. I drive to the office. What the fuck do I do? Figure out ways to uh, no, finagle. No, no, no. no, no, no you didn't let me finish. Figure out ways to finagle and cheat and make money that are <laughs> unethical. So and, I'm just sitting there brainstorming all day. I'm just sitting there looking into space. Yeah, or you're, or you're, like, schmo- hmm. you're, uh, you're schmoozing. You're like, I got to go meet with this guy because he has power here and we need to get this person. <laughs> on our side so we can have this agenda pushed through <laughs> I'm, i feel like these motherfuckers need audit of their job yep. like dead ass somebody needs i think we need a couple of people from a, a couple of different varied communities to watch these motherfuckers on a daily basis because yep. i see these people jumping into their their uh hundred fifty thousand dollar vehicle driving to the office getting a cup of coffee sitting in front of a screen maybe juggling some numbers a little bit and then, like, fucking taking the rest of the day off to go have sex with a prostitute that's not their wife. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, man. Essentially. What or, do politicians actually do? Or they're figuring do? out ways to be corrupt and make blackmail money or make pocket money or Yo, get some rich guy in the I pocket. could do that, Jonas. We should. I'd support you. I'd help your campaign. 
hey, yo, if you would vote for TNT Dynamite, please like and subscribe. <laughs> yeah. <there's, laughs> I got one new subscriber this month. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I would. I've been honestly. I've thought about it because look, the Tiger King. Yeah. All right. He ran for office. Yeah. Who the fuck says I can't do it, man? I, I, think have, you can. I have my 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 background. You just gotta clean. get out there on a soapbox and tell everybody your stuff. Yeah, my background's clean. We're gonna be like, oh, he has student loans. You're like, suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. He had sex with women. Oh, oh of my. course. <laughs> yeah. Guess what? They're all of age. <laughs> right. You Except know? for I when I was too right. young. Right. I didn't buy and... one from a man selling one when they were underage. So yeah. hi, I win already. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know, man. But that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you already did that. Uh, thecrazytown.com. I did the wrong act- outro. Jonas. TNT. Uh, We out.